Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another MAMG Let's Play of Agatha Knife. When we left off, we finally got that book done right there that the awesome Sandro is reading. So now we need to create a place of worship, if I remember correctly. So we're gonna talk to Mom, and she, she'll hand over the uh, store to us. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but at least we'll give it a shot, right? Mom, I need you to give me the butchers. Give you the butchers? What do you mean? I want to do something in the abattoir to make the animals happier. And I think it'll also help get customers back in the store. Ah uh, yes, and what's it all about? I can't tell you. Okay, okay, well it doesn't matter. I have always been able to trust you to do whatever you want in the back room. Okay, but the store has to be in my name. Can you change it? Yes, I don't mind. But we don't have any money left to pay for the change of name. You need money for that? Yes, Agatha. And making a change isn't cheap. Have we sold anything today? No, no one has stepped foot in the store. I still don't know where the people around here buy their meat, but I know it's not here. Anyway, we don't have any money. Oh. Hey. You could try and do what your dad does. What dad? <laughs> what dad? Your dad, Agatha. The one that's going around the world looking for clients for the store. Oh, that's right. It's been so long since I saw him. I'd forgotten I had a dad. Well, you could do what he does, but in the town. Look for customers? Yes. You could try and get a deal or at least an order from a business in the town. We'd have the money to pay for the paperwork and the butchers would be yours to do your things. And if we're lucky, we might even get a customer who wants to stick with us long term. Cool! I'm gonna go look for a business that wants to place an order with us. Excellent. And maybe while you're at it, you'll find out where everyone's buying their meat these days. I'd go out there and ask, but I'd prefer to stay in the store in case someone comes in. Although I doubt that would happen. Okay, I'll go take care of it. Don't worry. Thanks, Agatha. I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, that was really easy. She's just like, yeah, sure. You just got to get the money for it to do it. All right, we can do that. Are you? Yeah, you're still over here. Stanley looking through the rubbish. I don't think you'll find anything interesting in there. Hello. Stay where you are. This is Stanley's territory. What do you want? Um, must be looking for something in the bin. What are you looking for? Anything that might be interesting or useful. I'll find a blow-up doll, that'd be sweet. Yeah, I remember this. Okay. I'm gonna go now. Bye! Just in case you were looking for food, which I doubted, but it was worth a shot, right? Okay, so I think we're gonna go to the ladies that were in front of the grocery store? Perhaps? Let's see. I think they were right across the street. It's so pleasant, and yet so terrifying at the same time. To see what's going on. All right. Um. Ah, he's he's feeding his little birdie. Okay, you're delivering bread, so that doesn't help too much. Let's see. I think it's across the street, and then we'll be there. We can talk to the ladies and see if they'd like to uh, order with us. You know, we're very nice. Nice. I mean, what? Okay, these two. Hello, do you buy meat in that supermarket? Yes. And why don't you buy from the butchers? Because it's more expensive. But it's really cheap there at the moment. Yes, but the meat here is even cheaper. And what about the quality? We don't care. Well, you should. Yeah, whatever. Oh, she's so mad. Bah. Can we go in here? Yep, the supermarket sells meat cheaper than we do. Hang on, I recognize that logo next to the meat. That's a bit like the, oh no! Oh no! That's where they're getting their meat from. It makes so much sense. Was this open? I feel like this wasn't open before. No, this was not open. Try our doggy burger, ch oh. On the board it says, try to beat our doggy burger challenge. 
Gotcha, that's gross. She must be the waitress. Maybe she's the cook, too. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'll try and convince her to place an order, yeah. Are you in charge here? Yes, I am. Why? I noticed that this place opened recently. Yes. How's it going? Ah, pretty good. It's early in the day, so we're a bit quiet, but we always end up full. It seems like the local people like the music, the decor, the terrace, and the burgers, of course. Oh, I'm pleased for you. But your burgers could be even cooler. What? You don't like them? I haven't tried them, but that doesn't matter. Okay, but... Where do you buy your meat? What? The meat? Yeah, the meat. Well... I buy it from... A supplier... Of meat. Why do you ask? I'm a butcher. I've got a store nearby. I'm convinced that my meat is better than the meat you get from your supplier. Would you like to buy meat from me? Well, you know... I've already got a deal with the man that sells the meat, so I, I can't change now. And who's that man? Sorry, I've got a confidentiality clause. I can't tell ya. Hmm. It doesn't matter. Do what you want, uh, don't you want to place an order at least to try my meat? I can't do that either. The contract also includes exclusivity for a year, but thanks anyway. The meat I sell is top quality. I'm sure, but I can't place an order with another supplier. Sorry. Your loss. Okay, she says she can't buy the burger meat from me. I need to keep doing carnivores and things. I'm going, I got lots of things to do. Okay, so this is man versus food, dude, right? Adam, was it Adam something? He needs to slow down, he'll be sick otherwise. Hello. Yum yum, hello, yum. What are you eating? I'm fighting with this doggy burger. Yum yum yum. But it never ends. That long sandwich is a doggy burger? Yep, it's a baguette. Yum yum. Filled with a load of burgers. Yum. In a line to make it giant. Yum 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 sausage. And why is it called a doggy burger? Yum yum yum. No idea. But I need to finish it, yum, before they close the restaurant. Yum. Or I'll lose the challenge. You're not gonna be yumming after you find out where it's from. If I complete the challenge, the waitress has promised me free burgers forever. Yum yum yum. The sandwich doesn't seem that big. That's what I thought. Yum yum yum. Until I started eating, yum. And after half an hour, there is still the burger's still the same size. I don't understand what's going on, yum yum. But I'm gonna keep on going until I've eaten the whole thing. Yum. Until I defeat the doggy burger. Is that a bottle of milk? Yep, yum yum. As if the never ending burger wasn't enough. They put a super spicy sauce on it. Yum. The milk is good for controlling the spice. Yum yum. It's a trick my brother-in-law showed me, and it works. That trick also helps if you not notice how helps you not notice how bad the meat is. Really? Well, it's not the best burger in the world, yum yum yum, but it's not bad either. Well, it's all yours. I don't eat bad meat. Anyway, I'm going. I got things to do. When you want to try some decent meat, come by the butchers. We make awesome burgers. Thanks, but when I finish this doggy burger, yum. The waitress is gonna give me a lifetime supply of burgers. Free! Yum, yum, yum. Whatever you say. Alright. Free burgers. That's not good business. You guys know where we're going next? I bet you guys know where we're going next. There's already one place that was super shady. From the beginning. Because, uh, dude was counting money like crazy. Oh, it's so gross. It's so gross. Why would you do this? Hello, animal doctor. Hello. Um, yes, I'll ask you about the- I- there's something I wanted to ask. I saw your logo in an advert at the supermarket. Yeah, I use the same logo for the vet and for my meat brand. Ah, so as well as a vet, you're a butcher? Sort of. But where are the animals? The ones out back. No, I mean the ones you make in the meat. Yep, it's them. I make the meat out of dogs, cats, rats, and the like. Those animals aren't for eating. Because you say so? You must be a dietitian. I don't know what that is, but I'm a butcher. What's that got to do with it? 
If you're a vet, you should make the animals better, not make meat out of them. I tried that and it didn't work. I don't believe you. Well, it's the truth. People brought me their animals so I could cure them. But once I told them how much their treatment or the operation was, they all ran away and never came back. They said they couldn't spend that much money on an animal. So the dead animals started to accumulate. And I had to think of a way to get rid of them. Then it occurred to me that I could sell the meat really cheap. Oh uh ha! -huh. Now people come directly here to abandon their animals when they get bored of them. The truth is I've achieved a good variety of meats at competitive prices. From the basic dog and cat meat, that have been well received by supermarkets and fast food restaurants, to the more exotic things like iguanas and guinea pigs for gourmet restaurants. You're a murderer. Murderer? What about you? I thought you said you were a butcher. Yes, but I make meat from pigs, chickens, lambs, and rabbits. And what exactly is the difference between your animals and mine? My animals are for eating, yours aren't. Again with the same story. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You go back to your animals and leave me with mine. It's your fault that no one comes to the butchers anymore. I'm gonna report you so that you get closed down and you can't sell any more of that poor quality meat. No one will believe a jealous little girl like you. I'll find someone to help me. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Assassin's Greed? Uh, so what do we do? Who are we gonna talk to? Who can we talk to to put this whole thing to rest? I don't know. Were you guys here before? I don't think you were. I think I've seen them studying in the playground at the school before. Huh. Okay. Is it time to talk to the Great Sandro? Because I, I really don't know who we can talk to. Like, who we can report this to. So maybe we'll see what's in the cards, huh? Because we don't know, like, a police officer or anything like that. Alright, so what's going on in here? I can't remember what I have to do. I need help. Yeah, help with the cards. I don't know what I need to do next. Will you help me? Of course. Let's see what the cards say. I don't know why I love that face. He's just like, <laughs> I'm gonna make it happen. What you got? Sandra, what you got? The hound, the cage, and the bread roll. I don't know what a hound is. A hound is a dog. It's the same thing. So, search for a dog inside a cage or in a bread roll? And I think I'll keep looking and see if something occurs to me. Very good. Blessings and good night. So do I need to see if there's a dog in the cage at the vet? I don't I don't know if he was gonna let me go high on the counter. You know, like go beyond him. We've been there before, but he might be like, no, I don't trust you anymore. You work at the butchers. We'll try it. We'll give it a try. But yeah. How about how about they want some lion meat, huh? Because uh, I got a big old lion that would be more than happy to attack everyone in the vets. Like, seriously. Okay, so let's go ahead and cross over here. Alright, vet. Let's see if I can... <laughs> it's the logo for bad meat. Agatha, I love you. So very, very much. If I can't find a way to close that place, uh, the vet may- If I can't find a way to close that place, the vet will make meat out of those poor animals. So how? The slaughter room, uh, where the fake vet cares, uh, carves up little dogs and cats that must be behind that door. Uh, on top of killing animals that aren't bad for eating, he takes photos of the pieces before selling them. That man is crazy. I know those tools look a little bit too much like mine. Can we go in here? I should speak to some of the vet's clients. Maybe I can convince them not to buy meat from that animal assassin. 
Yeah, and get a new order for the butchers at the same time. Somebody has a sick pet? Maybe? Those dogs and cats must be burgers and sausages now. Well, Agatha, that's not really the news I wanted to hear. Um... Who has a dog? Anybody? I'm trying to think. Okay, we don't know who lives there. Do you guys have a dog? Or no? Just so you know, the meat they sell at the supermarket's dog meat. Dog? Yeah, and cat. Okay. Do you care now? No. Bye. Stupid people. Are you kidding me? You don't care that you're eating cat and dog meat? That is... Ugh! That's wrong on so many levels! Like, seriously! What's wrong with you? Alright, whatever. Well, my friend Nika lives- I don't think Nika... Yeah. Nika's gonna have a situation like that. Um, let's see. Ladybeard! Was it Ladybeard? I think so, right? Oh, hello. Uh, better one loves Adam. I thought he has many friends. Okay, no. See you later. I don't think you had a pet either. I'm trying to remember who has a pet that was, like, sick. Um... Oh, this changed. The baker. I don't think she can help us with carnivorism. But, like, this changed. The guy's gone. And this we only know the houses of three people. Nika's my mom's house and mine. And this isn't one of them. Okay, what about you, buddy? Hi. Hello. Do you know the vet? The one on the street? Yeah, that's the one. Ah. No, I don't. Why? He's a bad person. So if one day you need to take your bird to the vet, you should find another one. A vet? A bad person? Impossible. If you like animals, you can't be a bad person. That's what I thought, but I'm telling you that man is awful. Well, him and all the people that leave their animals with him. Why do you say that? Because the people that want to get rid of their animals take them to this vet. Then that man kills them and sells them like they're real meat. So if you buy meat from the supermarket or eat something from the burger bar, you're eating a cat, a dog, or a bird just like yours. But that's terrible. I know. There's no way dog meat tastes good. And cat meat must be even worse. I wasn't referring to that. I meant that a vet kills companion animals and sells their meat. That is not okay. Something needs to be done. Don't worry, I'm on it. I'm gonna make sure that man is stopped. You? But you're just a little girl. Yeah, I am a little girl, but I'm also the daughter of the butcher. And I'm not gonna let that assassin continue killing animals so that he can sell bad meat. So you're the butcher's daughter. I thought I'd seen that blue hair somewhere before. Anyway, hope you give that animal assassin what's coming to him. Okay. Alright, bye. Can we go in here? It's an ironmonger. I won't find anything useful for carnivores in there. Let's take a look somewhere else. Okay. So who has a pet? <laughs> oh. Things changed here a little bit. What happened? Hey. Yes, what's up? That's not the accent I gave her. I bet she dies, buys dog meat for the burgers. Uh, over there at the back, there's a man that died from eating dog meat. Uh, okay, let's do this first. I know where you get your meat for the burgers. What? How? I've been talking to the vet and he told me what he does with his animals. What? What are you talking about? Don't act like you don't know. He kills dogs, cats, and all other animals he gets, brought and makes meat out of them. To sell it to supermarkets and restaurants like this burger bar. Your burgers are made of dog meat, aren't they? Do you think it's okay to sell such poor quality burgers? She's not saying anything. Hey, don't ignore me or I'll tell the police. N no, wait. Why do you buy your meat from that assassin? Well, you know, I need lots of burgers every day. And the only supplier that would give me enough meat was him. Besides, his prices are great. It's really cheap. And that's just what I need, given that I've only started opening the restaurant. Did you say before that you had a butcher's nearby? 
I bet you know how tough it is to open a store. But buy what you need to get things going, get clients and all that. That's a terrible excuse. When I opened the store with my mom, we were looking at farms. And after visiting them all, we decided to use one that had the best animals. Which gave the best meat without worrying about the price. Because the quality of the meat is what's important. Yeah, but I... Anyway, the days of dog burgers are over. I'm gonna report you both to the police. You and the vet. No, wait, please. I've got a proposal. A proposal for what? To solve this problem. Look, I don't like the vet either. And the dog meat is cheap, but is not particularly good. So I'd like to buy that quality meat you were talking about from you. Now that I've got lots of clients that come back every day. And with the money I've got coming in, I think I could probably afford it. Although, I think I might have a couple of small problems. What? On the one hand, I signed an exclusivity contract with the vet, which prohibits me from buying meat from another supplier. And on the other, um, your butcher's is called Knife, right? Yes. Why? Don't take offense, but I passed there the other day and... It doesn't look like a business is good and you have much meat to sell. So I don't think you're going to be able to prepare all the burgers I need. But if I can stop the vet from selling meat, we'll get our customers back in the store and we'll be able to buy more animals. And I'll be able to prepare all the burgers you need. Hmm. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. Okay, how many burgers could you prepare every day? I don't know, 20 maybe? 20? Mm, I need a lot more than that. Like 100 times more. That's 2,000 burgers a day. Yes. I can't prepare them that fast. I do it with my hands. I thought so. If that's the case, I'm going to report you. But wait a minute. I haven't told you what the proposal is yet. Uh, uh, that's right. What's your proposal? My proposal is this. I'll deal with reporting the vet. That way, the contract I have with him will become invalid. And I'll be able to contact a new supplier without facing any legal issues. And what? You'll buy the burgers from me? Yes. But first, I need you to find a way to increase your daily capacity for preparing burgers. And how am I going to do that? You said you prepare all the meat by uh, the burgers by hand, didn't you? Yes. Well, maybe you can modernize the process and look for a machine that can do it quicker. But I like to cut and prepare all the meat from my animals. I don't want to stop doing that. I only need burgers. So all the other things you prepare for the store, you can do like you always do. And only use the machine for my orders. What do you think? Hmm. Well, okay. Perfect. So I just need to find a machine for preparing the burgers. Yes, and in the meantime, I'll deal with the vet. Okay, when I found the machine, I'll let you know. Good, I'll be here. Are you dead? Hello? Are you okay? No, looks like the dog meat didn't do him any good. I think he's dead. Hello. Hello. Um, let's see. Over there at the back, there's a man that died from eating dog meat. That man with the tank of milk died from eating dog meat. Dead? What are you talking about? He's just savoring the doggy burger. No, I'm pretty sure he's dead. What? She said no, no to something. I don't know. It said something about the vet. Sorry, I thought she was just going to say bye. Okay, so we need a machine. A contraption, if you will. And I'm pretty sure I know exactly who can make that for us. Little Miss Mechanica. Little Miss Nika. But did I pass her house? Yeah, I did. Dang it. All right, Nika. I'm going to need you to build me a machine before you try to take over the world, okay? We got a deal. Let's see. Was it here? Um, nope. Okay. Yeah, I just realized that she could run. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I should have known that. I've played the other game. I should have definitely known that. But it's all right. I think it's this. I think this is Nika's house. 
Yep, okay. So we'll go up here. Let's talk with her, see if she can make us something. Hey, Nika, I need a machine to make burgers. You're good at that sort of thing. Could you make me one? I could make one, but I'm in the middle of my project, so I can't. Oh, I thought you were going to help me. Okay, okay, don't make that face. I can't make the machine for you, but I'll take a look and see if there's one around here that you could use. What do you think? Okay, better than nothing. You wanted a machine for making burgers, right? Yeah, but it needs to be able to make at least 2,000 a day. Okay. Did you finally decide to update the equipment at the butchers? That's right. Cool. Okay, I found a meat mincer. In the technical specs, it says that it also makes burgers. And it's got the capacity to make more than 2,000 a day. It's been a while since it was last used and it's in perfect condition. Cool, where is it? It says it's at the zoo on the outskirts of town. Okay, at the zoo. Thanks, Nika. No problem. I wish I could help you more, but my project needs me. Doesn't matter. So... Um... I'll leave you with your computer. Yep, computer, desktop, super awesome machine, call it what you want. Anyway, see you later. Um... But, like... The zoo? Really? It's kind of weird, isn't it? I guess we need to go to the bus stop. I can't see how the... Okay, but is there a bus stop here? A sign advertising the zoo. Find the polar bear and win a free ticket. Find the polar bear? Um... Okay? I don't know where else I could really go besides maybe the... The circus? I don't know if that's going to get me to where I need to go, but... I'm guessing that I need to find a polar bear so I can get a free ticket so that I can go to the zoo. At least, that makes the most sense to me. So, we'll check out the circus and see if it's there. Um, if not... I may have to search... Oh! Hi! <laughs> Hello! What are you dressed up as? A polar bear? But bears are bigger and fatter. I guess. This is the best outfit I could find. You can just imagine that I'm a friendly polar bear, okay? And why are you dressed up like that? I'm helping a friend spread the word about her zoo. It's got some unique, beautiful animals that you should go and see. Are there any polar bears at the zoo? Well, no. Of course, that's why you don't know what they're like. Anyway, you like animals, right? Yes, animals are cool. Fantastic, because we've organized a game for boys and girls just like you. You can win a free entry ticket to the zoo if you answer correctly a series of questions. And if you don't, it doesn't matter. You can try again until you get them all right. Although, if you give up and have money, you can always buy a ticket. What do you think? Do you want to give it a go? Yeah, let's see. What are the questions for the competition? Do you want to have a go? Excellent. Let me explain. One of my favorite fairy tales from when I was a young age, was your age, was Town Musicians of Bremen. Do you know it? No. Doesn't ring any bells. No? I recommend it. It's really good. It tells the story of four animals which have got old and no one wants them anymore. But when they meet each other, they combine forces to take control of a county house. Country house, sorry. And they achieve amazing things like making a living from music. Anyway, like I said, the Bremen musicians were four animals. And to win the free ticket to the zoo, you need to tell me which animals they were. This is how we'll do it. I'll give you four groups of animals. And from each group, you'll tell me which animal is one of the musicians. Got it? Okay. Very good. Let's start with the first group. Snake, vulture, rat, or, or cat, or spider. Uh, cat. The cat. Well, well. More animals. Bear, rooster, rat, or cow. Bear? Bear? The bear. Okay. Let's move on to the third group. Elephant, tiger, rhinoceros, or donkey. Uh, a, a tiger. The tiger. Aha! Okay, and to finish it off, the last four animals. Deer, pig, dog, or wolf. 
Uh, dog. Excellent. Did I get it right? No. The four animals you said are not the town musicians of Bremen. Okay, which ones did I get wrong? I can't tell. Ah, oh, come on. Do you want to try again? Um, I don't want to cheat. I don't want to pay to anything, but I want a ticket. Let's see if she'll give me a clue. I'm not interested. Uh, let's see if she'll give me a clue. I want the free ticket, but I don't know which are the musical animals. Can you help me? Well, I can tell you that the town musicians of Bremen is a part of a collection of fairy tales. And it was written by the brothers Grimm. Maybe that can help you. I can't give you any more help. Eh, okay, I'll wait. I don't want a ticket at the moment. Okay, no problem. If you change your mind and want to see cool animals at the zoo, let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wait. And we'll see if I can uh, maybe research them later and get it right. Or maybe you guys know. Maybe you know in the comments. Maybe you guys have read the fairy tale. I don't know. But either way, that's gonna be it for Agatha the Knife. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play.